Hey, welcome to another Flutter Court Media Tech video. On today's episode, since it's a brand new year, I thought I'd start out by answering some of the questions that you folks have left. I've done a number of tech videos over the course of two years, and you guys have asked me to test some specific things. So I thought on today's episode, I'd just do a rapid fire answer of some of those questions. So without further ado, let's get started. First one up here is from CTV Channel 5, and they ask, how about testing on a 2013 Mac Pro Tower? Now they're referring to the Metal versus OpenCL on Adobe Premiere uh, set of videos that I've done. They wanted me to see how it handles on the old trash can style tower. So I was finally able to get my hands on one. Uh, it's not the most powerful one, but it does have the Xeon and, and the uh, Fire Pro. So let's look at those specs real fast. It's uh, running Mac OS Mojave version 10.14.2. Uh, Mac Pro late 2013. That's the latest version of the OS uh, as of the recording of this video. Processor is the 3.5 gigahertz Intel Xeon E5. That's six cores in this one. Memory 32 gigabytes, uh, 1866 megahertz DDR3 RAM. It is 2013 after all. Graphics are the AMD Fire Pro D500 graphics with uh, about three gigabytes of, of GRAM on that. Tested this using the most recent versions of Premiere and Media Encoder that you can see right there. So how did it perform? So I used my killer 4K five stream test that I always use that seems to just tear the crap out of these machines. I um, didn't set out to make something that hard, but it just makes them chug whatever I did to it. It's five streams with uh, GPU accelerated uh, effects on all of the streams and they're all overlaid on top of each other so it really pushes the system hard without having to run a long test. So for the trash can, I, <laughs> the Mac Pro 2013, I did uh, just 10 seconds of that uh, just to see if the Metal OpenCL or software was the better option. And in this case, Metal took uh, 3 minutes 23 seconds OpenCL took three minutes, 21 seconds, and software took four minutes and 16 seconds. So I know it's only 10 seconds, but if we extrapolate that out, uh, OpenCL, like always, is still the best option on the 2013 Mac Pro. So this next question came from several people. I looked up how to pronounce this name, and I hope I don't ruin it too bad. Joao Victor Braganca and uh, Sean J. Yunsen both asked, you should run this test again with Creative Cloud 2019 and Mojave. I believe Adobe made some real changes reported in their blog. So this is with regards to the fact that Apple is deprecating or soft deprecating OpenCL and they want people to start, developers to start moving to Metal. So the hope is that Adobe will start uh, pushing more towards Metal development and that will be the the better option because all the tests we've done before in the last videos, OpenCL was still the best option. So in 2019, using the latest version of Mac OS Mojave and the latest version of Adobe, uh, the 2019 Creative Cloud update, um, how did it do? Well, first let me show you what I tested on. We have the, uh, I got my hands on a brand new Mac mini 2018. Uh, had six core processor in it, 3.2 gigahertz Intel Core i7 A700B, 64 gigabytes of 2667 megahertz DDR4 RAM. Uh, it does have integrated graphics, so Intel UHD graphics 630 with one and a half gigabytes of GRAM. Running the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro and Encoder as of the recording of this video and the latest version of Mojave. We're also running the uh, 2018 Mac Pro that we did in the last tests um, using, again, latest version of the OS, latest version of Mac, sorry, Adobe Premiere and Encoder. This has the 2.2 gigahertz Intel Core i7, 32 gigabytes, 2400 megahertz DDR4 RAM, and the Radeon Pro 560X with four gigabytes of VRAM. So is it better to switch to metal yet? Let's take a look. Looking here at the Mac mini, um, yep. OpenCL, <laughs> still better. That is with the uh, integrated graphics, not the Radeon Pro, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, if we jump over to the uh, MacBook Pro, which does have the uh, discrete graphics card, yay, Metal finally took the lead. Yes, by a significant amount. Um, that's running my, my uh, killer test video. 
for one minute. It took that long to render out and Metal, finally, on a discrete graphics card, was the better option. But then I jumped to my 8K set of RED RAW footage where I took some uh, sample clips from RED, I think it's 30 seconds long, I added, again, some GPU accelerated uh, effects to those and rendered them out, and uh, looking at the numbers here, um, both times, um, just by a little bit, but this is only a 30 second clip, so extrapolate that out to a full video or something. Uh, OpenCL, still the best option for 8K. So uh, when in doubt, OpenCL still, but uh, if you do have a discrete graphics card, uh, you might try Metal and you might have better luck. This next question comes from the, the Beep. <laughs> Uh, can you compare rendering on Windows and OS X on the same machine? So I assume what they're talking about was putting um, Boot Camp where you can install Windows uh, natively and not run it in a virtual machine so it has full access to the hardware. They're probably wondering, is it worth my time if I have a Apple product? Should I bother buying Windows and install it and uh, do my Adobe editing on that? That's a really good question. I've had that question a lot myself. Let's take a look. All right, for this test, I again used the Mac Mini 2018 and the MacBook Pro 2018, both with six cores. Uh, ran the test using my one minute 4K test file and the 30 second 8K test file. And because Windows does not support metal, we're only comparing OpenCL and software encoding in this test. So looking at the Mac Mini, uh, we see OpenCL on Mojave took 13 minutes and 38 seconds for the 4K test file and 16 minutes 57 seconds for the uh, on Windows. Uh, software, uh, 14 minutes 36 seconds, 14 minutes 34 seconds. So that's almost identical. That could be um, margin of error between those two, but uh, OpenCL is much better optimized on the Mac Mini integrated graphics in Mojave. Looking at the 8K footage, <laughs> this one uh, blew my mind. I had to run the test multiple, multiple times because uh, I just, it didn't seem right. OpenCL on Mojave for the 30 second 8K red raw footage, nine minutes, 16 seconds. Uh, the software, nine minutes, 18 seconds, which is what we experienced before because the bottleneck in that case is the processor. But we jump over to Windows, three minutes and 46 seconds to do the OpenCL compared to nine minutes and 16 seconds. That's like five and a half minutes faster. And even the software is uh, seven minutes, 33 seconds. That's faster than the Mojave. And the only thing that I can um, figure out why this is so much faster is Windows allowed uh, some of the system memory to act as shared video memory. So you have your normal 64 gigabytes of RAM and Windows allows some of that to be used as video RAM for the integrated graphics card. And it <laughs> produced this outstandingly faster result. So let's jump over to the MacBook Pro 2018 and see if the results carry over. On my 4K test file, uh, Mojave did OpenCL 14 minutes, 22 seconds, software 60 minutes, 18 seconds, that's expected. Uh, for some reason, Windows 19 minutes, 59 seconds, 23 minutes, 15 seconds, way slower. Um, on the Mac mini, the software was really close, the software encoding, but on the MacBook Pro 2018, uh, the software, for some reason, Windows is just struggling with it, could be it just wasn't able to use the Radeon. Well, shouldn't have used it anyway. I have no idea why it's so much slower, but there you go. Looking at the 8K footage, OpenCL on Mojave, three minutes, four seconds, uh, 10 minutes, 16 seconds. Jump over to Windows, three minutes, 54 seconds on OpenCL. Uh, software was faster this time though on uh, at eight minutes, 54 seconds. So the MacBook Pro 2018, for whatever reason, maybe, the uh, integrated graphics, um, maybe the, the heat, I don't know, multi-threading, I don't know, I didn't look into it a whole lot, I just ran the test, uh, but for the most part, um, on the MacBook Pro 2018, you wanna stay in Mojave. If you have the Mac Mini or maybe something with integrated graphics and you're doing uh, 8K footage, but if you're doing 8K footage, you probably have something better than a Mac Mini 
with integrated graphics. But if that's your bag, uh, it might be worthwhile to jump over to Windows because you see a lot better performance. Down to the last question. Uh, my friend Seth Berkey actually asked, how good are 2018 Mac Minis at editing? Uh, well, we kind of looked into that. Um, I was able to get my hands on, uh, you know, one of the higher end Mac Minis. Uh, so I threw up here a comparison between the Mac Mini, the uh, MacBook Pro, and the Mac Pro, just for fun, right? You're not going to buy it, but how's it compare? The uh, Mac Mini, uh, my 4K test file one minute on metal, 1504, uh, MacBook Pro, 1408. So the MacBook Pro handled uh, in metal faster because of that uh, discrete graphics card, as we found out. Mac Pro with the six cores, 19 minutes, 14 seconds. That Mac Pro is so outdated, you should not buy it at all. Buy yourself the Mac Mini for a lot less money. Uh, you, can, you can get everything that's in the Mac Pro uh, in the Mac Mini, the, the 10 gigabit uh, NIC, um, better graphics, better, well, I don't know about better graphics, but it doesn't seem to matter. Um, better RAM, don't get the Mac Pro, that thing needs to die. Open seal, I didn't bother testing in on the Mac Pro. Open seal, 13 minutes, 38 seconds, 14 minutes, 23 seconds on the MacBook Pro. Software, 14 minutes, 36 seconds, MacBook Pro, 16 minutes, 18 seconds. They're all six cores, but you can see where the thermal throttling and the lower uh, starting gigahertz kicks in. 8K footage, metal, nine minutes, 18 seconds, compared to the MacBook Pro's uh, three minutes and seven seconds. That is due just to the uh, discrete graphics card. Open seal, 9 minutes, 16 seconds, uh, 3 minutes, 4 seconds on the MacBook Pro. Software on the Mac Mini, 9 minutes, 18 seconds, 10 minutes, 16 seconds on the MacBook Pro because the uh, Mac Mini has the higher clock speed, more ventilation. It's able to run the CPU at higher, but uh, that discrete graphics card uh, really makes a difference when it comes to metal or uh, 8K footage. Well, we got four of your questions answered, and hopefully that clears some things up for you. But let's do a recap really fast, just to make sure. As of the shooting of this video, using macOS Mojave 10.14.2 and the latest version of Adobe Creative Cloud uh, 2019, if you're doing 4K video and probably 1080p using a discrete graphics card, so that's a separate graphics card, you're finally, finally gonna want to use Metal. For everything else, if you're doing 8K footage or have an integrated graphics card, you're still gonna wanna use OpenCL. In terms of the Mac Mini, that thing is a little powerhouse. I highly recommend it if you need something small or something inexpensive. Uh, I like the Mac OS operating system, uh, so if you enjoy that as well, definitely check out the Mac Mini. Uh, you cannot get a discrete graphics card. You're stuck with the Intel. Uh, integrated graphics card, but it performs reasonably well. And as for the Mac Pro, uh, I wouldn't even bother. Uh, OpenCL was slightly faster, even though it has discrete graphics, but uh, overall the whole thing is so slow that uh, don't even deal with it. Get yourself a Mac Mini and you're going to have a much better time. And finally, as for the comparison between Windows 10 and Mac OS Mojave on Apple hardware, well, if you have a integrated graphics card and need a lot of video RAM, you're probably going to have a better experience on Windows 10, so it might uh, be worth it to install the boot camp in Windows 10. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. If you have any other questions that you'd like me to test out, leave them in the uh, comment section down below and I'll see about uh, doing those in a future video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really does help other people find the video. And if you don't want to miss out on any of my tech videos or the vlog stuff I do, subscribe so you get notified when that happens. Until next time, I'm doing what I love. Keep doing what you love. Thanks for watching.